And the pandemic now putting a strain on Oklahoma's hospitals. Tonight, the spike in COVID-19 cases forcing Tulsa County to move into Tier 3 of the state's hospital surge plan. Two Works For You's Kitty Kelleher shares what this means for hospitals and Tulsa County. Local health officials say we are in a hospital crisis around the state. And here in Tulsa County, they expect some tough weeks ahead. Tulsa County hospitals seeing a rise in COVID-19 patients officially in tier three of the state's hospital surge plan. This is a bad sign for Tulsa County and it's a bad sign for our state. We're heading in the wrong direction. To be in tier three, there must be 20 to 39 percent of COVID patients in staffed beds for three consecutive days. That number has been about 20 to 21.6 percent in Tulsa County since Tuesday. Dr. George Monks, president of the Oklahoma State Medical Association, says emergency rooms are packed and hospitals will now start implementing their own internal hospital surge plan. ICU beds are very hard to find. Uh, really, any bed is hard to find. And so, uh, if you have another medical conditions, it, it just makes things um, a little tighter uh, for the hospitals. With tier three, elective surgeries could be reduced or put on hold. Dr. Monks encouraging everyone to get their flu shot and do their part to ease the spread of the virus. It's a further reminder that we've got to all pitch in and uh, work on this virus together. You know, everyone needs to wear a mask when you go out in public. Maintain that physical distancing. Wash your hands frequently. Tulsa County is still far from reaching tier four, the final one in the hospital surge plan. That's when there's more than 39% of COVID patients in staffed beds. Tulsa County is now one of six out of eight regions in the state that is in tier three. Katie Kelleher, two works for you.